Flutterflow just updated Flutter again. And yeah, my app is broken again. <coughs> Dear Flutterflow, a love letter with crash reports and receipts. Dear Flutterflow, I really love what you're doing. I've shipped more apps faster than ever thanks to your platform. But there is one thing that keeps burning us again and again. You just update Flutter. No rollbacks, no version control. You just push the update and basically say, deal with it. And depending on your luck, your project might be broken for a few minutes, a few days, or indefinitely. The scariest moment is when you just fix a critical bug, ready to ship it to your angry users, and the project doesn't build anymore. This happens way too often now. And it's not just inconvenient, it's destructive. People literally pay me to fix this stuff. So thanks, I guess. But seriously, Flutter version control is crucial. This kind of instability makes every Flutter update feel like a wild card. And technically, we have a very half-baked Flutterflow version pinning, but it's just only for enterprise plan. Locked behind the most expensive tier. That's not fair. And speaking of unfair, having five different pricing tiers is just insulting. Especially when you just added two tiers that are more expensive and removed features from the other ones. Paying $80 a month should unlock everything. Instead, I'm still locked out of features like Figma import. Bruh. And honestly, it feels like it's just the beginning. I think every new feature is gonna only come for the new shiny more expensive tier. This needs to stop. And this actually brings us nicely to the next point, which is feature priorities. One thing I absolutely love about Flutterflow is the constant updates. New features, new ideas, every time. It's really exciting. Honestly, I get more hyped for FFTC than for Google I.O. But sometimes it feels like you are adding sprinkles before baking the cake. Ooh. This means that crucial parts of app development are still broken or incomplete. For example, let's talk about Stripe. The integration hasn't changed in over two years. No customization, no Stripe Connect, no subscription. Come on, this is core functionality for most modern apps. And Algolia? It's so basic compared to what the platform actually offers. Search is a lot of time a mission critical feature. And right now it feels like an afterthought on Flutterflow. You might say, come on man, just use the custom widget or custom action. And yeah, I do. And again, people pay me for that stuff. Money, 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 money. I've built payment flows, complex search queries, and a lot of custom widgets. But that's not why we use a low-code platform. Then there is something you can't even fix with custom code. That is deep linking. From day one, deep linking has been um, frustrating. We had Firebase dynamic link. It was limited, ugly, and Google is now killing it. And the replacement is buggy, hard to implement, and doesn't even properly support web. Are you kidding me? So that means I have to go through every single one of my apps and implement a new custom solution to support web properly. And yeah, I can do it, but I shouldn't have to. Low code, they said. And while we are here, let's talk about Superbase. It's one of the most powerful tools out there, but integrating it with Flutterflow, you lose a lot of basic functionality. You can't do no. push notifications, there is no phone no. login, and you have to create so many custom actions and create custom codes. There has to be a better middle ground, something official, something stable, something that works well with Flutterflow. So please, please don't push another power user feature until you have the foundations ready to go. We need fewer half-baked experiments and more reliable, complete, deeply integrated solutions. Yeah, we love that. So that brings us to the last section, bugs before features. Sometimes it feels like you are shipping faster than you are testing. And look, I get it. The startup energy, the rapid pace, it's what makes Flutterflow exciting in the first place. But you are not an MVP anymore. And that means quality assurance is super important now. Too often features are dropped half-baked. They look good on the changelog, but in production they don't actually work. And we, the Flutterflow developers, become the QA team by default with our projects. They are our children. And that's not good. And here is a simple solution for the big problem. A public pre-release testing program. Wow. You have a passionate user base. Open up a beta version, let the community opt in easily and let us help you. And while we are at it, let's talk about support. 
<laughs> a three day response time when something breaks isn't support. For many of us, it's our livelihood. You don't need to be perfect, but please test more, communicate more, and support more. Because bugs break trust, and rebuilding trust is harder than rebuilding an app. Flood of flow, all of this come from love. You've changed the game in no-code and low-code industry for founders and small teams. I still think you are the number one, but we need three things done right. Flutter version control, proper integration for payments like Stripe and deep linking, and lastly, QA, quality assurance. So yeah, that's it. Has your app broken after a flood of flow update? Drop your war story below. Like the video if you are rooting for flood of flow to get better, and subscribe if you like building apps. See you in the next one.